And most people in life will only change, especially if the habit is an ingrained habit that they've been doing for a long time, when there is enough pressure or enough pain. You know, we're, we're creatures of habit and we generally do things on a pain and pleasure principle. So once you're getting pleasure, um, it's very difficult to change. You know, it's very difficult to move away from pleasure, pleasure when you know that you're moving into to pain. Um, even if your mind is telling you that that pain is going to be short-lived, it's very difficult to go from the pleasure into the pain. But when that pain is turned up and the pain becomes uh, more than the pleasure, when the pain becomes more visceral than the pleasure, um, and that pain can be physical pain, it can be mental pain that you're having, it can be something that's coming from internal, uh, like just your thoughts and your emotions are getting to that level where you're thinking, I've got to make a change, or it's coming from the outside where somebody else is saying, look, if you don't stop this, you know, something's going to happen, there's going to be consequences to this. And it's a great time to change. But you have to understand with this type of change that it's short-lived, you know, once the pressure goes off, once the pr pressure is relieved, once the pain disappears, then the motivation often disappears along with it. So you have to be cognizant of that. A point about looking at somebody who is forced to change, so the idea is to think about you making the changes now while you've got everything in your control, rather than somebody saying to you, look, you're going to make these changes now because I'm forcing you to make the change. Either that could be a doctor who's saying to you, you know, you've got something wrong with you and you have to make these changes. Otherwise, there's going to be consequences, horrible consequences to you. It could be a partner, you know, your spouse who's saying to you, if you don't do this now, I'm going to leave you. You know, any number of those things can be external, but it's a forced change that somebody is putting on, on top of you. Whereas if you say to yourself, well, I can see this, it, Push yourself out to a year's time and imagine what is going to happen. Look at any situation in your life. And I guarantee you that if you're poisoning yourself with alcohol, that you can push yourself out and you can take any different part of your life and you can say, this is going to get worse. So look at that. You're going to grow into that person. You know, look at that person that you're going to become and say to yourself, well, do I want the shit that's going to happen to me, the shit storm that's going to come about my way in this area of my life, in my relationships, in my finances, in my uh, spiritual life. Look at everything that's going to happen and say to yourself, right, I am in control of things now. I can stop that from happening. I can prevent all these things from happening. Am I going to do that? So you have to make the changes while you are in control. Make the changes happen while you're in control because otherwise you're going to be forced to make the changes. I drank alcohol for over 30 years and one of the biggest reasons why that happened was because I didn't have enough motivation to change. I didn't have enough pain in my life to change. There was, wasn't enough pressure. Um, pressure, pain, they're some of the best motivations that you can have. And when that pain builds up and you're really thinking about this is the time to do it, get out there and do it because uh, as I say, it's one of the best motivations to, to make you go. It's not a long-term motivation, so you have to be aware of that. But while the pressure is there, do it. You want to do these changes. You want to make these changes happen in your life while you are capable of doing it. You know, you don't want to be put into a position where you're forced to make changes because sometimes, often, it's too late to do that then. So, look, I'm Kevin O'Hara for Habits Unplugged. We help people to stop drinking alcohol and to start living a good life, the life that they want to live. Uh, take care of yourself, onwards and upwards.